Yeah. Welcome back. Back with Q. Welcome to my little shop of horrors. If you stick around, I promise I'll show you my green thong, among other things. Quite a clean break, wouldn't you say? Up next, Longview, the video by Green Day. You gotta check this thing out. I mean, it's unbelievable. Wood and plaster fly like fists at an Irish wedding. I can hear my Uncle Pete talking now. Come on, bring it on. What do they got there? And we're back here in front of the world famous Whiskey A Go Go in Hollywood, California. I am Q, here with the dazed and confused Robbie Rist, actor, singer, songwriter of the LA based Wonder Boy. Robbie, 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 why? Hi. Why the name Wonder Boy? Hi. Uh, well, uh, Troop Shakespeare and Too Much Joy were both taken. Whoa, oh, good heaven. Look at that, for the love of God. The guy is amazing. Uh, Amy Mann. My very reason for living. Generation X. Something invented by the cola companies that doesn't really exist. All that she wants is another baby. She's gone tomorrow, boy. All that she wants is another baby. Yeah. There you have it, folks. The man who puts fun back in funny, Robbie Rist. We're out of here. Coming up, videos by Beck, The Breeders, and Soundgarden, and also interviews with Candlebox and L7. But first, Jeannie gives us the straight stuff surrounding former founder and frontman of the psychedelic furs, Richard Butler, and his new project, Love Spit Love. Can you say alliteration? I was just thinking to myself, which is my favorite way. The word brilliant is overused. I mean, just ask any poet, priest, or politician, but do not ask a model. We are all blind cavefish in the uterus of life. Jupe jeans. <laughs> I love it. What does that have to do with jeans? I want an ad that says you buy them, you wash them, you wear them, end of story, kaput. Got it? I don't understand. Hip, 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 hip. I don't have a mustache and goatee. Forgive me. Welcome back to Little Known Facts. A chance for you to fax me about, well, little known rock facts. Fact number one. Nine Inch Nails' Trent Reznor played in a power pop scene with such bands as The Urge and The Innocent before coming to fame in the post-apocalyptic angst-ridden state that we now know and love. Fact number two. Two-thirds of House of Pain actually grew up outside of Los Angeles in the serene San Fernando Valley, working at record stores and delis before they jumped around into fame into the post-apocalyptic, angst-ridden, bitter boy state that we now know and love. Fact number three, Lisa Loeb will not return my phone calls. Hey, the way I see it is this. All I have to do is get... Hold on a second. All I have to do is get a message to her through... One moment, please. Her friend, Ethan Hawke. Look, it's not like I'm stalking her or anything. Can I? All right, all right, all right. Uh, up next, a, a video by uh, The Counting Crows. Enjoy. We're going to talk. Hey, we're back. It's me and Sonny. So stay tuned with us this hour, because I've got videos by Spin Doctors, The Gin Blossoms, and Cracker. Or political image makers with bulbous, broken, blood-vesseled noses having foreplay before a really, really good bowl of soup. What does that mean? You figure it out. Ha. <sighs>